guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a uh, review from the Sideshow Collectibles line from the Universal Monsters of the, from the movie The Mole People of The Mole Man. So I'm really excited. Anybody who knows the channel knows I'm a massive fan of the Universal Monsters. So I, I have I have a collection video of my entire Universal Monster figures. You can see that in the, my horror playlist. Uh, it mostly consists of like Diamond Select. But and I also just reviewed the Frankenstein NECA figure. So again, it's on my horror playlist. Check that out. And now I'm adding the Mole, the mole Man to my, um, to my uh, Universal Monster display. So I'm really excited to uh, add this figure to my display. What's cool is about this particular character, this is kind of when like Universal Monsters tried their hand at like science fiction. Um, and I think it came to be like a really interesting, cool design. Uh, let's open up the figure. We'll go over, over the detail, the articulation, the accessories, and then we'll put him up against some other Universal Monsters I have in my collection to see how the Mole Man stacks up. We have the Mole Man out of the packaging. And first impressions is he's a really, really cool looking figure and a really unique design. Uh, so some of the accessories he comes with, he comes with a burlap bag. And, and what you can feel with this burlap bag is these mushrooms. So he comes with some mushrooms. Like this. Really unique. Really cool. Um, yeah, so you get these mushrooms. So that's pretty neat. And then I really love his base. Um, let me put him up. His base is super cool. It says the Mole People, Mole Man 1956. Uh, really nice texturing with the dirt, uh, but the nameplate is so cool. Um, here's the underside, not really interesting, but everything looks really, really cool for this base. I really, really like it. Uh, I can see why um, <clears throat> so many people were a fan of the Sideshow line. This is my first Sideshow figure, actually. Um, as far as articulation goes, I don't, I gotta be honest, I don't wanna play around too hard with the figure because I don't wanna break it. It is an older figure, but um, like some of these joints are a little um, tight, so I don't want to yank too hard on it. So if it goes easily, I'll get, I'll, I'll um, you know, I'll show you. But if not, I'm just gonna kind of go over the detail more so often because I don't want to break the figure because it is an older figure. But um, as you can see, uh, the design of the mole person is really, really cool. <clears throat> the makeup is really beautiful, and that's the thing I love about the Universal Monsters is the uh, uniqueness of the characters. There's always such a cool look. To the characters of the Universal Monsters, the texture on this is so cool. Look at those. He had such a cool, cool looking uh, design. I mean, look at that face sculpt. It's so nice. Uh, I don't know when these figures were exactly made. I can't find all the boxes there's a date, but I'm pretty impressed, honestly. I mean, this is my first one, and this thing is really, really cool. Uh, I really like the shoes a lot. Like, I think that looks really cool. Uh, the texturing of the uh, clothing is really nice. As you can see, like there are joints in the knees and the elbows. Uh, again, I'm not gonna yank on them too hard. I'm really sorry if that affects the review. I, I, you know, I do apologize, but I just don't wanna break a figure that is kind of hard to find. Like you don't really see many of these um, universal monster figures out in the wild. And I actually went into a local comic shop and that's why I found the guy. And he was like one of the few universal monster figures do I need it. So I was like, yeah, let me grab them. But let me get some universal monsters that we can compare all different types and see how he looks. First size comparison I wanted to show the Mole Man with is with the Metalina, Metaluna Mutant. Uh, two of the science fiction Universal Monsters. I want to see how they look. And honestly, they look really cool. Like these these designs just make me so happy. I just think there's such a coolness to them. Um, I love the films, um, but like there's such like a, a beauty to the, to the, uh, to the uh, makeup work on these movies. And I think that's, there's such a charm to them. And I just adore and love the Universal Monsters so much. And I just had to put these two together and they look so sick. Let's get a couple other Universal Monsters to put with them all. With the NECA toys, Frankenstein Monster. Uh, here you see them with another toy brand, obviously the Metalina Muta, a Mutant. You can see them as a, with a Diamond Select. Now you can see how they look with the, um, with the, uh, the NECA toy line. Uh, I have two other Universal Monster toy brands that we can show and how they would compare and contrast. Uh, let's get them. Dota toys. We have the uh, Mummy from the Mummy Returns Emotep figure with uh, the Pygmy. Uh, just so you can see how, again, how they're gonna look with other Universal Monster figures with different toy lines. And so far I think they all look great. And I have one more Universal Monster figure from a different toy line that we can put with the moment. Finally, we have the Mezco Toys Blockbuster exclusive of the Wolfman from the Vinicio del Toro remake. Uh, and again, they all look really great. There's always, there's definitely a uniformity to these guys. So they all look like they belong within a Universal Monster, uh, you know, family. 
So I love this figure. Uh, I cannot wait to get more of the NECA uh, Universal Monsters. I'm gonna try to track down a few more of these slideshow guys. Um, I think the Werewolf of London is definitely on my radar. Um, figures that they don't um, that they don't have in other brands, you know, whatever or whatever I can just find for an inexpensive price. Uh, but obviously, Universal Monsters is probably my favorite thing. That and Godzilla, so I guess monsters, like my favorite thing to collect. So anytime I can do a monster review is always a good day for me. So if you guys like this video, please comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and go check out my horror playlist for more Universal Monster content. Have a great day.